Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to compare two password managers. The first one is 1Password and the second one is Sticky Password. The first thing I'm going to compare are pricing plans and then I'm going to show you how the both tools work and how you can actually use them. So let's start. Now, both of these tools are great. If you're going to choose 1Password or Sticky Password, you're not going to make a mistake, but there are some differences. So let's start with the pricing and then we'll get further. In 1Password, you got only free trial that you can test it out by yourself and then you have the one password or one password families or you can go with the team and business which is like 3.29 per user or business and you can see that you got like vip support and the business is like top notch but again it depends on what you actually want and what you actually need if you need it for like for yourself or for the family but this is like what, like three euro, uh, 36 euro per month, per year that you would pay for the basic version. Now to go further, then you get like everything, unlimited password items, one gigabyte document storage. And let's compare it to the sticky password. So in sticky password, you got forever free account. And this is like really great that you get also include 30 days of premium, unlimited encrypt password and data storage this is really great because comparing to the one password you have only one gigabyte right as i mentioned so that's really important so if you need a lot of gigabytes of storage i would definitely go with a sticky password so this is point for sticky password two factor this is you got also in one password uh, but there is also one advantage i want to talk to you about in sticky password comparing to one password that because in sticky password is from Czech Republic and the intelligence from the US won't be able to get to you because many companies are from the US and sticky password isn't so just keep in mind that now to go to go even further uh, the premium costs 27 euro or lifetime 200 euro and as you can see you get like secure password sharing with people saving Manatees and Wi-Fi sync. So the premium is like not necessarily needed, but this is the way how we can actually support sticky password. Mm, and it's like pretty good. Now let's talk here now about the advantages and disadvantages I personally see. So you need to have a sticky password desktop app. This is the one disadvantage and I will explain why. So let's say you are in a work and you can't like install the application from the outside that you are blocked. So you can't use a sticky password. This is the first thing. The next thing is that when you would like to um, use it for other browsers than Chrome, by, uh, like Internet Explorer, you won't be able to do it. You need to have a Chrome. And this is like bugging me a little bit. Uh, because the extension would work on Firefox really well and like you need to have a Chrome so this is a disadvantage I personally see but that's pretty much it when I would go to Facebook let me show you how it works I'm in Facebook and I can simply is logging you in it automatically is going to log me in so that's pretty good login as and I just add here a login so, and this is pretty much it how 1Password works. You just click here, quick access or web accounts. I have web accounts here uh, that I already hear from. I can simply launch it. And I can fill in. And while I'm got it, right? And you can also like generate the password if you want to. Now, the, this is pretty much it, how it works. To go to one password you have like the walls here that you can like create so i would go to the dashboard and click new wall here i just need to sign in again and now wall title i can go with a creating wall i'll just click on it and now you have like all items here. I go here to plus and I can add login, credit card, identity password. 
And what I think is that one password is more lean comparing to sticky password. And it's like more clear what you want to do and what you want to use, but it depends what do you actually need it for. If you want to go with the credit cards, if you want to go with the teams, go with one password. That's much, much, much better option in my opinion. So yeah, thank you very much everybody for watching. If you have any questions, guys, ask me down below in comments. I'll be really happy to help you. And have a great day and goodbye. See ya.